what I didn't understand, you know, I had read all these business books that said persistence is the key to success. Right. You know, every book. Gary Vee. Everyone says it. Persistence is the key to success. Persistence is the key to success. And when you are a knucklehead 21 year old like I was, you take it really literally. So I thought if I just persisted long enough, I'll win. What I didn't understand is the difference about persistence and over persistence is that the secret to persistence, the secret to persistence is that persistence is not about knocking on one door a hundred times. It's about knocking on a hundred different doors. hundred percent. That's a really smart thing. What you just said, that is that that's a very eloquent Eloquent. <laughs> eloquent. Yeah, eloquent. eloquent way to put it that is yeah. no it is i mean that's ex you're exactly right it's well, not just, over and over and over and over and over it's a hundred different doors it's the same thing i know this is gonna be a weird analogy but in the dating world like if you're i'll do well, exactly the same. Minutes, if you're a single guy you're out you know if you hit on the same woman a hundred times in a row and she said no a hundred times like you know Someone's calling the cops. Right. right you rightfully do, so. Right. But if you hit Should on 100. Should I have called the cops on you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe up for debate. But yeah, to the point, like if you're out and you hit on 100 different women, odds are a couple of them will say yes. Yeah. No matter and what. And it's not creepy right. because you're not, I mean, you don't want to do that on the same night, but you know what I'm saying? It's not creepy because I you're not think overly. Like there's a difference between uh, energy that's persistent and desperate energy. And I'm not, I don't know what the situation no, was. I was desperate, but, but it sounds like you desperate. made the line between that, but that's a really great learning lesson. Do you think and desperation clogs intuition? You know yes. what else? One other thing I would say sometimes when you're young, and I think this is important for people to hear, you think that persistence enables you to jump ahead of the line. And what it does is it makes you think that you don't have to put in the work. Like for example, I'll just use the podcast world. You know, we produce a lot of podcasts. I will see new podcasters start and they're like, I need to go and interview this A-list or this serial entrepreneur or this person that's at the top of the heap. And I'm like, hey, why not start like putting some notches in the belt and, you know, proving your chops and proving that you can actually like carry a show and carry an interview. But because when you, when you shoot for the top and just, and, and you try to jump the head of the line, it, it doesn't work out all the time. Totally. And I think persistence is essential. But if you don't understand the nuance of over persistence, where I dig myself, I dug myself into such a deep hole, even Bill Gates couldn't pull me out. And that was one of the hardest lessons I had to learn on the entire journey. So do you think that Bill Gates' team went to Warren Buffett and said, we have this guy, Alex, who's writing this book. And Warren Buffett was like, fuck, Alex. It was probably Whether the, it's probably him the assistant. or his assistant. Or, the assistant was like, oh, here's. You know. The assistant cock block deal. Who that's knows? A, who knows? I'll never know, but that that's listen, my assumption. Listen, if you're going to learn about persistence, like let's learn about it through Warren Buffett. <laughs> so, so after, does Bill Gates help you with the rest of the list? What's funny is, oh my gosh, there was, look, I'm very grateful. <laughs> I'm very grateful. He didn't. Um, they, they were very, very helpful. Oh, they were. They made introductions. What I had to learn, which is such a weird mindfuck, is that asking interviews of people who have that much demand on their time, an introduction from Bill Gates' office is not a magic wand. 